In some cases, employees may share their login information with colleagues and ask them to mark attendance on their behalf. However, this practice can lead to attendance inaccuracies and data breaches since one employee can mark multiple employees' attendance using the same device from the office location. To prevent such proxy attendance, Great HR has introduced a device change detection feature. This video will cover how to define the device change policy, configure access rights, enable or disable the device change feature, and review device change requests. First, let's go through the process of enabling Great HR's device detect feature for employees. Navigate to settings, system settings, miscellaneous, and advanced options from your Great HR admin login. Enter device and enable this option. Don't forget to save. Once done, you can define the device detect policy. Go back to the home page. Navigate to workflow, setup, and workflow levels. And click here to add workflow levels. Under general settings, select the workflow type as device change. Enter a name for the policy and a short description of the policy. Select the required employee filter. Click here to save the general settings. Then click next to move to the workflow level settings. You can select the reviewer levels to approve then application as per your requirements. When you select the reviewer level, the device change request application will go to the selected job role for approval. Please note that currently, only a single workflow level is allowed. Only you as an admin will have access to review the applications. Click here to save the device change workflow level settings. Click next to view the summary of the created policy. After setting up the workflow level, you must also activate the policy. Just select the policy and click on activate. Select the date and click confirm. Now that you know how to define a policy, you must configure the workflow reviewer type. Select workflow reviewers types. Click here to add a reviewer type. Enter the title as device change detect, assignment type as named user, and select the named user as admin. Then click save. Please don't forget to activate the policy. Next, you must configure the access rights. For that, navigate to Settings, User Administration, User and User Roles. Select the Admin, Employee or Super Admin User card on this page. Click on Edit. Select the Device Detection option. Select the Read Access and Write Access options and click Save. After configuring all the activities for device change, let us now configure the mail notifications. Mail notifications are enabled by default for employees and reviewers. However, you can edit them from the mail template list. Kindly note that the mail notifications are required to inform about the status of the requests raised by employees and the actions taken by admins upon them. For that, navigate to System Settings, Miscellaneous, Mail Template List page. Just enter Device Detection and you will notice a set of already framed mail templates. These templates will be sent to you as admin and the employees based on the requests raised. By clicking here, you will be able to edit the existing mail templates. To add or edit the email ID for you as an admin, navigate to User Administration, User and then Users. Select Admin and click on Edit User. Add or edit the email ID and save it. To add or edit the email ID for your employee, navigate Employee, Information and Employee Profile page. Search for the employee, click on edit and add or edit the email. Don't forget to save. 
Now let us come to the reviewing part of the requests that are raised by employees. Navigate to Workflow, Review and Device Detect. On this page, you can select the card directly or filter using the date range. Click Accept or Reject button and then click Confirm. Please note that you can view all the approved, rejected and withdrawn applications under the Closed tab. I hope this video has clearly explained how to carry out all the functions related to device change detection. With that, we come to an end. Please like and subscribe to this channel for updates about our upcoming videos.